Hello, and sixth tutorial, and this one is about basic operations. Um, so every everyone that's programming is obviously going to know the basic plus, subtract, multiply, and divide, right? So I'm not going to go over that because that's going to be pretty obvious. It can be like age plus one equals something or whatever. But but those are all pretty obvious. I'm gonna go over the thing, the checking operations that will help check whether something is equal or isn't equal to, or is greater than or less than, or all of that. So the first one we've used already, and that's the is not equal to. That's exclamation mark equal sign. So a, it, while age is not equal to 600, we're gonna do all this. But you know that. So it's going to check how old you are. So your age. Okay. So if your age is less than 12, it's going to say preteen. So obviously it's preteen. So else if age is equal to 13, it's going to say just a teen. So you just turned into a teenager. Um, else if age is greater than or equal to 65, you're a senior else if age is greater than or equal to 20 you're an adult so these are going to be like if you're anywhere greater than 65 you're a senior um, and if you're anywhere greater than 20 but because this is in front of it the senior one if it's greater than 20 but less than 65 you're going to be an adult greater than or equal to so 20 to 64 you're going to be an adult and then age four, it's greater than or equal to 14, you're going to be a teen. So 14 to 19, you're going to be a teen. So we'll just test this out quickly so that you kind of understand. Oh, silly computer. Okay, how old are you? Well, first we'll say five. Okay, preteen. How old are you? Seven is still preteen. Twelve? doesn't even like that. 13? Just a teen. I'll show you why we got that error at 12 later. So 13 says just a teen, but 14 says teen. How old are you? 16. Teen. 19. Teen. 20? Adult. 25? Adult. 50? You're an adult. 64? Adult. 65? Senior. 100? 1,100 senior. So you're going to be a senior now until however. I'm going to fix some grammar up here and all that. Okay. I'm going to add some new lines in just to make it look a bit better. And um, what was I going to show you? Oh yeah. So if it's less than or equal to 12. So then it can obviously be 12. If it's just less than 12, it can be 11, but not 12. Um, so these are fairly, these are all the things that you're going to need to know. I don't think I've ever had to really use anything more advanced than this. So, but in the auto occasion, but you can find them online. Just like, I don't, I don't know, there's websites. You can just search for C++ operations. Um, that'll conclude the sixth tutorial. Thank you for watching.